Hi guys, happy Friday. So first wanted to start off on the video saying thank you for all your comments yesterday and also wanted to make sure everyone knows that um, none of the messages I received about others' dogs being on steroids were negative. Um, I think a couple people took it as people were being negative towards me and that wasn't the case at all. Um, I was just trying to talk about how everyone's stories and everyone's different opinions on the steroids overwhelmed me. Um, and I was just, um, uh, con what do you want to say? Not contradicting. I was, um, questioning. <laughs> I was questioning, um, myself on what I was doing with Mozzie's care. So no messages were negative towards me. None at all. It was just overwhelming the amount of information, the amount of opinions, the stories and everything that I was getting um, after I had mentioned about um, Mozzie not reacting well to the prednisone steroid. So just want to make that clear before I go any further. Okay, yesterday I showed you guys a product called the, I think it's called the Paw Buddy. Let's go out here and see. Yes, Paw Buddy. I was sent this before we, um, right when we were in the middle of packing and getting ready to move from a company and they asked if I wanted to check it out and review it and I said sure. So this, I'm not getting paid for this. They just sent me the product for free and um, wanted my thoughts on it. So I'm gonna get the camera on a tripod here and we're gonna open this up and check it out. All right, so on the back of the packaging here, it says, look at the, look over here and see if I can, they think I have something for them. Well, I kind of do have something for you, but it's not food. Yes, I kind of have something for you. <laughs> okay, so it says to, um, step one is to fill with clean water. Step two, unlock the water flow to the bristles. It must be some kind of thing inside there. Step three, brush your dog's paws gently um, with this part right here. And then it says step four, four to um, comb out loose, ha loose hair slash debris, which I'm not sure if this will really work on my dogs because my dog's hair isn't long on their paws. So this would probably, this part would probably be better for dogs with, um, hairier paws. So let me get the scissors and open this up and check it out. This isn't treat boys. They're, they're climbing on my leg. <laughs> I'm going to have to give them a treat after this. Okay. So here it is. This is really uh, softer than I thought it'd be. And this is kind of rubbery. So let's see. Oh, okay. That must be how you. That must be how you unlock it. You kind of twist it up. That must be how you let the water out. And I'm trying to figure out how you open it to put the water in. Oh. Well, that was easy enough. Just keep twisting somewhere. <laughs> All right. Let's fill this up. Let me turn you around, guys, here. <clears throat> now I'm wondering if you could um, add um, like a no rinse shampoo. Um, I have a no rinse shampoo that I use that I dilute with water. So I'm wondering, I could probably put a no rinse shampoo inside of this with the water to even get their, get the dog paws um, cleaner than just with water. Let me get the lid for this. I'm curious how fast the water is going to come out um, of 
this part. Let's twist this and squeeze it. Oh, just kind of, it stopped. It, it, so I thought it was just going to pour out. It is kind of dripping. I'm not squeezing it. So it is dripping. But when it's like this, it's not. Then when I squeeze it, it lets out a, quite a bit of water. Okay, so let's go outside and do this. Let's take the boys out there and um, see what I think about it. Um, their feet are not going to be, it's very dry. I'm going to say it's summer right now. The ground is dry. It has not rained, so they're not going to have muddy paws. But we're just going to see how this works on the paws and if they like it or not and um, see what I think. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have to be honest. There's water on the ground because I tried it out on Milo and I wasn't filming. I was not recording. So I'm going to do this again for the second time. <laughs> and now they may not be as willing participants because I already tried it on someone and they saw. So look, they're all they're all leaving out. They were very eager to see what this was when I was thought I was recording but wasn't. Um, and now they're just like, eh, we're out of here. It's not food. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to show you guys how this works. Now you got to untwist the cap. Now the reason why it was dripping in the house when I said, oh, it'll drip if you tip it over. Well, if you have it pushed back down and locked, it will not drip. Um, another uh, brain fog moment inside the house, uh, like earlier in the video. So it won't drip. You can take it with you and you're not going to have water all over the place. Okay, Milo, can you come here? Milo, you want to come here? Here, let's show them how this works, okay? Now... Front paws, when I just tried this a second ago, when I wasn't filming. Come here, Milo. Milo, come here. Come here. You gotta come here. Come here. <laughs> He's like, no, Mom. You already did this, and I don't like it. It's kind of, well, you gotta kind of bend their foot back and just spray some water, rub it around. And like I said, it's August. It's not, it's not August yet. It's July. Um, it's very dry and hot, so their feet are not muddy. Um, let me dry you now. Let me dry you now. Oops. Come here. Their feet are not muddy. But I can see where this would work. Especially if you just had one or two dogs. Now six dogs, I don't know if I would use it. Um, I would probably just use, um, I would probably just use the hose and spray their feet off if they were really muddy. Because I have a hose now available at this house. Um, if you're you're new to my channel and don't know, we moved. Or if you're just coming across this video, we moved. In our last home, we did not have um, a convenient hose hookup in the backyard. This house we do, so I would probably just spray their feet with a hose instead of using this. But I'm gonna tell you what this would be perfect for. This would be perfect if you drive somewhere or even just uh, if you're going on a walk around your neighborhood and it's muddy out, it has rained, um, there's mud and dirt, this would be perfect to take with you in your car to clean their feet. Make sure you have a towel with you too to dry them after, to clean their feet uh, before you get back in the car. Or leave it on your porch um, so when you get home you can quickly uh, clean their feet off if you don't have a hose attachment wherever you enter back in, like if you live in an apartment or something like that. You can have this just sitting there waiting or right inside the door of your home uh, to clean their feet off before they go in the house. That's what this would be perfect for. Um, I don't see where I would use it, them just being in the backyard and before they come in. I would just spray their feet with a, uh, the hose. But like I said too, I think this would be great too if you used a no rinse shampoo in it, uh, dilute, dilute it with the water. That would even help um, clean their feet even better, I think. Um, but if you don't have an over rinse shampoo, the water is going to work just fine. And the comb, the comb wouldn't work on my dogs um, because they don't have long hair on their feet. But for dogs that do, this would be perfect too to get some more of the gunk out of it if it's really built up in there from walking your dog and if it's muddy out. So it's a great little product. Um, I will link it down below in the description if you want to check it out. Um, I, this would be perfect for if you're taking your dog somewhere and they get dirty before they get in the car because I've done that before. I used to take my dogs, um, drive them to a park, 
walk them and they would be muddy and dirty and then regret that I didn't have something to spray their feet off with before I got them in the car. Because even if you lay down towels or something, they're still going to move them and they're still going to get dirt on your seats. So yeah, I'd say check it out.